This is Paul Kirby with Good Morning Lexington County and the Lexington Ledger. I'm here with Ross Self, who is the Chief of Freshwater Fisheries here for the State Department of Natural Resources. Ross, first of all, it's good to see you. Beautiful day on Lake Murray. Tell us a little bit about what it takes to manage these fisheries. Well, it, it is it is a beautiful day on Lake Murray, and the weather treated us nice this morning. Very nice. Um, you know, we, we've got about 90 staff that work across the state to manage the freshwater fisheries in, in, in South Carolina. Um, everything from our hatchery operations to our regional operations that monitor the fish populations in the reservoirs and rivers of the state. Uh, so we, you know, we got folks out every day, all kinds of weather, monitoring fish populations, interviewing anglers, working at our hatcheries to produce fish to, to supplement our recreational fisheries across the state. Now, is your staff the one that come up with suggestions like the striper limit change that we saw last year so that we don't have so many young stripers floating after being com coming up through uh, cold water and into warm? Yes, sir. Our, our staff does, does work on regulation development. You know, th we're a state where all the regulations controlling game and fish go through the General Assembly for passage. We don't, we don't have the regulatory authority to set those ourselves internal to DNR, but we do work with, uh, with angler groups. Uh, we look at our, our biological data and then uh, make recommendations to the General Assembly about how the regulations can be modified or new regulations put in place to better protect and enhance those fisheries. And oftentimes, particularly with the striped bass limit you mentioned here on Murray, um, you know, that's a put and take fishery. Those, all those striped bass come out of our hatchery system and are put in the lake to provide a recreational fishing opportunity. Uh, in that case, those limits are not really driven by the biology of the species, but those limits are, are driven by the desires of the angler groups. So we spend a lot of time working with anglers and, and, uh, and, and folks that fish, fish and enjoy those resources to help develop regulations that suit their expectations for those water bodies. You know, we appreciate all that you do and your staff do every year to keep these uh, fisheries in good shape so that we can enjoy it. And we can have groups like these anglers here that come and not only do these uh, television shows, but the FLW tour that will be here. And then next year when their tour comes in, a lot of these other fishermen come in with the elite tour. So uh, it, it becomes a, a, an economic engine for the area, a, certainly a beautiful resource and a great place just to go and have a wonderful day. For the Lexington Legends, this is Paul Kirby.